Tim Allen appeared on the screen. Blood was smeared everywhere. Everyone died. Whoa! So, as I recall, Travis, and you were telling me about how you actually found this game at a, a swap meet? No, at a garage sale. A garage sale, that's what swap it was. Swap meet doesn't, doesn't work as well. <laughs> it doesn't work as well for the story. Oh, okay. I found this. I went to my neighbor's garage sale to buy myself a cartridge for my, for my Super Nintendo. Okay. So, I get there, and I pick up what I thought was a copy of Donkey Kong Country 2. But it was weird, because it was in a strange black cartridge with no label. I thought, well, it may be just a different printing of it. So I take it home. I put it in, and I boot it up. The rare logo shows up, but the music is somehow different. And then when the title screen comes on, I see something that is clearly not the Kong Country 2. Killer Instinct! Oh no! I'm like, that's what, weird. What'd you do? So I decided to start playing. I thought maybe it was just, you know, a weird glitch. Yeah. And I, I play, I see I'm greeted with this strange skeleton character wielding a sword. I'm like, wow, this must be one of the skeleton ghosts from the game. Yeah, the lava ghost? <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. And I start playing. But something is definitely wrong. The character, I just have two characters standing there, and then they start beating each other up. And I'm like, this is incredibly violent for a doctor. And then, something also happens. I... The, a voice starts yelling at me, c c c c combo breaker Whoa. And then, I lose the fight. But not only that, I lost the game. And that's the end of the story. And I was like, oh. <laughs> that's how all the creepypastas are. <laughs> they have to insert a stupid-ass meme. Yeah. <laughs> Did you tell me you, uh, you've gone to, like, another one, too? Son of a bitch! Fuck you! Yes. What was the other one? So I go to play my SNES, and I have this cartridge of Donkey Kong Country 2, but the label's missing. <laughs> now, it looks like a fairly normal cartridge. Why do you always have the label missing? Why are you bad at maintaining your own games? <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> it's so hard to keep a label intact. You literally have to take the label off in order for it to happen. I had a strange childhood obsession with putting labels off of things. <laughs> and you ate them? Yeah. I assume you ate them. Yeah, well, it's hiding fiber. Good thing. Did you have that one disease that, like, you have to eat eat paper? Yeah, but I don't want no. <laughs> Pika? Pikachu? Pika, 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 Pika. Pika, Pika. I had the copy of Donkey Kong Country 2. This was an actually a normal cartridge, not the black one. The cartridge was gray, and it had two screws in it, keeping Wait, the cartridge together. Why would you have two, two copies of Donkey Kong Country? <laughs> why wouldn't you have two copies of it? That way it's Donkey Kong Country 2. Okay. See, his second copy means the second game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Logic. I can't... I hate this part. Toho. Literally, bullet hell. Bullet hell. This is... This is... Harder than Toho Productions. I put the game. Beta cartridges sometimes don't have labels, or they have generic labels. What? The, so they have a generic label? No, it had no label. For all, for the purpose of the story, it had no label. <laughs> Gosh, jeez. <laughs> you keep poking holes in it. <laughs> anyway. Stop poking holes in my story. <laughs> Cock. <laughs> Ow. Well, I put it in the cartridge in my. Super Nintendo. I turned it on. It didn't work at first, so I had to take it out, blow into it, and then put it back in. This time it worked. But for some reason. Why did you have to it the first time? Oh, the first time it just worked perfectly. You know, sometimes it does that. <laughs> but why did you have to mention that to us? Why don't you just get to the part where you like actually play the game? I gotta drag out the story. It's not that long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cut for time. <laughs> Well, need more, need more, need more story stuff. But the rare logo never showed up. It just said Nintendo. And but then. Is Nintendo rare? No, I don't stop. Okay. I'm trying to tell this stupid goddamn story. I'm just, just trying to figure. I'm just out. trying to tell. Well, you said you found a cartridge that, like, it 
It's not like proper, so. It said it just didn't have a label. And it didn't have the rare startup thing. It just went Nintendo. Okay? And then it went to the title screen. God. Okay, okay. The, the title screen didn't even say Donkey Kong Country. It said Super Mario World. And I was like, that's strange. It's a strange name for Donkey Kong Country. And I started playing it, and I was greeted with a fat little pump. Okay. And he jumped up and hit a sign, and words came up. The text was hard to read, but it said something like, this is Do this is the Mario world. Play the game and fight the Koopas. And I was like, what? That's an ominous message. I have to fight Koopas? What's a Koopa? Curious, I kept playing, even though something told me maybe I shouldn't. And as I was playing, I was greeted with hours of gameplay that eventually led up to the game ending with me fighting King Koopa and defeating him in a big showdown. It was weird because he flew in a clown car. It's like, wow. <laughs> it's like, wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, try King God, son of a... King Karul never flew in a clown car. Clock, clock, clock. King K. Rule never flew into a clown car. This is kind of strange programming. But after the game, I, it was just at the end. And I beat it. And I was like, okay. Sound like the time that you beat uh, Super Mario Bros. 3. Yeah. When you thought it was actually Super Mario Bros. Yeah. <laughs> you really should start labeling your games more. <laughs> like, honestly. Why does that keep happening to you? Right, here's, here's the last creepy pasta story. Creepy pasta story. Creepy pasta. So I went to play an old SNES game. I was th thinking that you know maybe play Donkey Kong Country too because it's fun. Play that again for old time's sake. But did you already play it? Yeah. How long ago was this? I don't know, sometime. Look, just stop interrupting the story. You're just doing terrible anyway. <laughs> okay. And so, I get the cartridge. The label is strangely missing again. It just said, Super Nintendo. Super 8 game. And I was like, well that's kind of weird for Donkey Kong Country 2 title. And so I put it in. And the Rare logo boots up as normal. And it plays the Donkey Kong thing. But then I realized this isn't Donkey Kong Country 2. It's actually Donkey Kong Country 1. <laughs> and I play it anyway because, you know, it's still a fun game. You're not gonna go to the like, something told me in my mind not to play this game. Oh, no, because you know, it's Donkey Kong Country, why, why would I not want to play it? <laughs> I thought you were gonna go with the whole entire, like, I was gonna play it. Oh, okay. but, really, it was Donkey Kong Country 3, and I shouldn't be playing it. <laughs> yeah, that too. Want, want to restart the story? No, it's fine. Okay. Okay, last creepypasta story. Okay. I went down to the, I went down to the old pawn shop. And I went down there to find it, to find a creepy pasta cartridge. I specifically <laughs> looked in the haunted cartridge aisle, and I found one that looks uh, particularly scary. And so I took it home and booted it up, getting ready for ghosts and spooks and things to just, you know, be really messed up and eventually die because that's how spooky they are. But when I started it up, the game started like normal, and I was starting to get disappointed. Maybe this wasn't really an evil cartridge after all. Maybe it was a normal cartridge. But then it happened. The scariest thing. It was... It was home improvement for the SNES. <laughs> Tim Allen appeared on the screen. Blood was smeared everywhere. Everyone died. Whoa! <laughs> Tim, you can't be in a game. That's for game. For video game characters. <laughs> Was, there you go. There you go. You got a spooky story with people dying. Oh no. And blood. <laughs> I love the creepy bosses that are just written bad. It's like, it's just incredibly, like, you know, this is incredibly made up. Like, we didn't even try. Like, there's one that I saw with the Rugrats or something like that. It was like the Rugrats get killed by a jelly or something. And basically, the whole entire story went. I was up late at night for some reason or whatever, and. Uh, Nickelodeon started playing this one Rugrats uh, video. I'm not sure if like everyone else saw it too, but like it was like a midnight midnight showing of it, 
So you really didn't. Not a lot of people saw it because it was a one-time air thing. Ooh. <laughs> They're just like, and then Angelica appeared out of nowhere. But it wasn't normally the way Angelica actually appeared. It actually <coughs> was her, like covered in blood and everything. And then all the babies because they grew silent and they died. <laughs> well, that's what they deserve. <laughs> 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 I did it! I'm, f I'm free! Yay, you can save now! I don't have to worry about dying anymore. I do remember you saying that there's a lot of ways that you can just damage that cartridge. Yeah, like dunking it in the toilet. <laughs> Get dunked! Pouring chloric acid on it. There actually is a permanent way to like, damage the end of the six cartridges. A, a good way to permanently damage it is with a hammer. <laughs> Way to like try to find. <laughs> like they're just like, you know what else you can do to a car to make it not work? You can tear it apart or run over with a car. Like no, we're not. Stick it in the fire. <laughs> like, we're not to find Throw it. it through a shredder. <laughs> just finding more creative ways to destroy cartridges. Give it to shredder, and you'll be like turtles. I've turtle got turtle soup. Turtle soup. I've got your cartridge, turtles. That's there's another creepy pass with that. He's like, the shredder was like, I'm going to make turtle soup out of you. The turtles were like, no, bruh, don't do it. And he's like, okay, no. He said, I'm going to do it, bruh. I'm going to do it, bruh. Oh, my goodness. And it was going just like any other episode of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But then, something happened. Look at you, what's so fast? <laughs> There's a deep, uh, Donkey Kong Country 2 glitch uh, called the Castle Crush glitch that will permanently damage the cartridge or corrupt the ROM. Put it in a microwave. <laughs> You see? You see? <laughs> like that's the glitch, putting it in a microwave. <laughs> Put it in a microwave and then you <laughs> you set it on high for, for 10 minutes. If you do it for 9 minutes, it's perfectly fine. It has to be 10 minutes. I love Family Matters this game. So I decided to watch Brain. one uh, late night Family Matters uh, marathon. <laughs> for some reason they've been playing the marathon on for quite some time. I don't know, it was like set in Australia or something. But the point being is that one of the Family Matters episodes showed up, but it didn't actually look like Family Matters at all. In fact, there was actually like a couple little kids hanging around. I thought for a second, oh hey, you know, that's kind of cute, but something else happened. Uh, Winslow, he actually turned into a white skinny guy. He looked like a ghost. And, you know, the, the wife? There wasn't any. There were just like two other men that were hanging around. And those kids? They all turned into a bunch of white girls! Oh. And then, it started playing that song, the creepy song, that just kept hollowing with the echoes of horror. Oh, oh seventh dee. heaven, when I see this, smiling faces, smiling back at me. I was going for family! <laughs> Full House! Oh, Full House? I thought you were doing 7th Heaven. Piece of shit! 7th Heaven is fine too. I mean, yes, yeah, it's but... It's, it's equally as scary, and in fact, maybe more so. There you go, you won. Yeah. Oh, I was so close to dying. <clears throat> oh my god. You killed him in the afterlife. <laughs> I know, right? You die in the game, you die in real life. You just totally moited him. So, I decided to go to my local video store called uh, Top 40 Video, which is an actual an actual store. And I went there, and I went to this one section that seemed to be labeled off. Adult. With, with, with curtains on it. Is that adult? And at first, I thought it was a really weird place to look at for a video store, but it had a lot of weird things on it. There, it was all white, and there was a bunch of toiletries around, and a sink, and a bathroom. <laughs> It turned out it was the bathroom. I was in the bathroom the entire time. So I decided to collect a bunch of right, bananas. Stop! Stop! <laughs> stop! <laughs> No more, they're not funny anymore. <laughs> they're extremely funny. No, they're not. No, I'm not stupid with bad movies. That's the sort of people don't freaking name things correctly. <laughs> oh, crap.